Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. I'm about to pick up where I left off on this owl. This is my reference photo. It was a copyright free image that I found online. I did not take this photo. And here's how far I've gotten. So I wanna do this area. It's kind of all the same color and it's very small feathery little pieces that kind of look fuzzy compared to these bigger feathers that are down here. And when I look at this, I have used this one right here, which I think it, it gives it a nice fuzzy look, even if you cut it into shards. So I want to use some of that color. But I also need to sort of match what I've already done, and I don't know where that glass went. I probably put it away at some point. So I'm, I'm pulling some browns that are similar, that are modeled, and that can go in this swath. And then right in here, there's a little bit of a transition right here where it, it is lighter, but not as light as that, and not as dark as that, it's in between. And so that's what these in-between pieces are. I've got four transition colors that I will go from this to the darker. That's what I'm gonna work on right now. This is Mexican small tea, and I happen to have the save the tag from smalty.com. It's the cafe mix where I'm getting most of these browns. So it's nice that there's a mix you can buy that has a lot of options in there and variety. That's it. As I come up in this area, the edge gets darker, but I think I kind of drew it inaccurately, so I'm going to make it um, a little bit more narrow down here and fatter as it goes up instead of fat all the way down. That's it. Now I need some black small pea, but all I have is this bigger piece. I don't have any of the A cut, so I'm breaking it down with the hammer and hardy.
thought I'd show up close. It's hard to see because the colors are so dark. There it is. Hey everyone, I am so excited because finally I have picked out and picked up my new work surface. So this table is too low and I don't like it and it's going out and my new workbench is coming in, but I have to assemble it. So it, that's what I'm gonna show you today. Here we go. First things first, this is the assembly guide. It's a Husky table from Home Depot. It's got two drawers and a white base and a butcher block type top on it. So let's see what we need here. Screwdriver, some wrenches, and that's the basic diagram. Here we go. So that's not bad. I ended up waiting on the drawers. I'm gonna to wait till my husband can help me because you kind of have to line it up on both sides to get them in. But there's two drawers that go here. The height is adjustable so I can move it up and down. Sometimes I like to work standing up, but I also have an adjustable stool that goes up and down. So uh, I can move the stool back and forth wherever I decide to sit. And I can't wait to start using my new workbench. This light is a floor light and I think it's a little bit too low, but my other one is perfect. So I think I just need another light, another lamp here so I can see what I'm doing and then I'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to break in my new workbench by grouting this butterfly. I, I had done this a long time ago, but never made the body. And then last week when I was working on wine glasses, I had some extra epoxy. So I built up this body and then just made a little bit of texture on it and I will show you what I'm gonna do with that when I'm finished grouting. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. I need, you need newspaper or something to work on because it can get messy. I am using black fortified grout. I keep it in airtight containers and I label the date. So that's brand new grout. A blue, this is up called a finishing tool or finishing rubber. It's used for ceramics. And I like the flexibility of it. It's just right, not too flexible. I like to use one nitro glove. And I use it on my right hand. That's my dirty hand. My left is my clean hand. I have some shop towels ready to clean up. And as well as a cotton rag for the N a N95 mask. And a cup. I like to use clear so I can make sure that it's all mixed in with a little bit of water in the bottom. So this is a pretty small project, so I don't have a whole lot of water in. I'm gonna start by putting on my mask. You need the mask when you're mixing the thin set. It usually takes a little bit more grout than water so now I have about that much in there. So look how I've already added several spoonfuls and it hasn't done a whole lot. So I'm gonna add a lot more. It's like I'm making way too much, but that's okay. I like to mix my grout a little bit on the thick side. 
this is all mixed in and it's a little bit too sloppy for me. So I'm going to put a little bit more in. Notice I'm not giving you any specific proportions. I'm sure each brand is a little bit different. I just mix it until I get the consistency that I like. That's a little bit better. So it's really thick. It doesn't slop off the spoon. And once it's mixed up, I need to let it slate for five to 10 minutes. And I always set a timer for this so I don't forget what I'm doing. And I'll be back in five to 10 minutes. Once it's mixed and you're ready to slake, you can take off your mask. And then I always close up this grout right away so that helps keep it nice. It doesn't let the humidity get to it. And then I'll come back and tackle the grouting. Alrighty, I'm back. After the grout has slaked, it stiffens up. So you have to give it a good stir just to loosen it back up a little bit. Pop it on and just start spreading with my spreading tool. If my glass doesn't go all the way to the edge, like on this one, then I use the tool to smash it in there at an angle. This one has plenty of space in between the pieces, like down here. So it isn't, I like, I always use sanded grout, but a sanded grout is a must for something like this. Right. Once I have all the grout in there, then I use this the flat side of this tool to scrape off and use it like a squeegee to, to remove most of the grout, except what's in the spaces there. Any type of rubber float or spatula would work for this as well. Okay, now that I have the grout where I want it, it's time to wait again. So now I'm going to wait about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm, I'm not even gonna do an initial wipe with the shop towel because I just have too many huge spaces here. And that's just gonna pull the grout out of those spaces. So I'm gonna wait 20 or 30 minutes and then I'll get back after it. That's it. to sit for quite a while and what you're looking for is a haze to have formed on top of the glass and that's when you know it's ready to clean. It's at about this point that I realize that this grout has sat on the glass a little bit too long and it is going to take some elbow grease or something to get it off. So I think what I'm going to try is to dampen a rag and clean it that way and then I can buff it off. And I'll also probably have to scrape it off quite a bit too. I have to dig out the body just a little bit. I always save some grout and stir it every once in a while in case I need it to the very, very end. And in this case, I did knock off some grout right here in the corner. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and shove it in there. You do have to mix it occasionally just to keep it from getting hard in the cup. The grout has gotten so dry that I actually have a damp cloth here to clean it off. It's a lot of elbow grease otherwise, but it comes right off. You don't wanna add water to the grout at any point and retemper it. But at this point, it's hard enough. It's not really getting added. I'm just cleaning the glass off. And we'll have to come back and buff this, though, because it's smearing 
a little bit on the glass. Last of all, you never want to clean up your tools at the sink, so I come outside and use my hose if the weather's nice. not nice I will try to use a spray bottle of water and clean up inside over a trash can. To finish off my butterfly I'm going to use a little bit of rub and buff in gold leaf to put on the body and a little goes a long way so I just have a tiny bit on here. I want that texture to show. I'm going to be buying some stained glass for my students and a little bit for myself. It's nice to be able to see it in person so you know what you're getting rather than buying it online. Look at all this. Awesome. Ooh, look at those colors. This is Carol. She's the owner Hello. of Visions. <laughs> and uh, you do a lot of custom pieces here? I do. do a lot of okay. custom work. In fact, I'm working on, there's one right behind you that's oh. working on. And the okay. lemon tree panels over there I'm working on. Okay. I'll, I'll give everyone a look. Here's the lemon panels. And that's for a front door you were saying? Yeah. Nice. There's going to be four of them. I'm working on the last one. Beautiful. And up here, what is this one for? Uh, it's just a custom order for a person that's going to be hanging. It's to, it's to uh, complement this window he already has. This is sort um, of see. probably made in China. I did a repair job on it. Oh, I see. It was poorly made, and it had embedded wire in it, and it was a real okay. pain to, so, to fix. But I fixed it, and he said, okay, I want another one. Are you using the similar colors? or uh, Similar colors, and I'm using that border, you know, just to tie it Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Putting birds and flowers in there. Nice. Awesome. Thanks. This is Carol's work in her shop that she's... Oh, look at this lamp. Gorgeous. Is this mosaic mirror yours? Yeah. Yeah. Pendant lights. Dogs. <laughs> I like that little chihuahua dog you have there. And some cats down there. This is the angle you have to see it through so you can see the, sh the light shine through. Some uh, Halloween type thing. A little Alice in Wonderland there. Oh, look at this. You do fuse glass a little bit? That's pretty. Hey. <laughs> Got a scrap glass room back here. Look at all these different ones. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is cathedral. I don't really use cathedral too much uh, in my mosaic, so someone might want it though. All kinds of things back here. Some that are ornaments tree and that cool look at the big pieces she used that's putting it together thanks for watching see you next time